today's retro video is about the Sharp L512H scientific calculator. And I used this calculator back in 1990 when I was going to high school, freshman year of high school. And um, it's a programmable scientific calculator, so you could actually store stuff in here. It was, uh, I used it in classes like. Um, algebra, trigonometry, and stuff like that, and uh, calculus, but uh, it's, um, it came with this big book right here, this is what it came with, and it shows you how to use the calculator and all the functions in it. It's a pretty big book. It's about uh, 350 something pages. It's not a graphing calculator. I got a graphing ca calculator later and back in 1992, I think it was TI-81. The interesting thing is, this thing still works after all these years. I just have to replace the battery for this. Um, the battery that it uses is a it's a CR216 battery. I tried to use this battery, which is a CR2032 battery, 3-volt battery. Obviously, it didn't fit because um, this two zero sixteen batteries a lot thinner so that's why it didn't work so I had to buy this new battery and it still works as you can see you can change it to rate degrees or radians right now it's in degrees it's radians grad so radians is basically like, uh, I think 360 degrees is 2 pi, and uh, 90 degrees is about pi and a half, so let's see, cosine 90 degrees is 0, sine of 90 degrees is 1, but we could use radians, and that will be cosine pi divided by 2 that would be 90 degrees and we would still get 0 sine pi 2 is 90 degrees we would get 1 right there like that sorry if you didn't see that you have different functions like the square root you could use parentheses, square root of 81, 9, and all these other mathematical functions like uh, inverse sine, inverse cosine, Uh, the fourth digit is kind of like uh, has a problem for some reason to put a new battery in here you could actually store stuff in here if you go to a e r right there so let me see Delete that. Let's say I wanted to save some stuff in here. So let's say we do have characters like A, alpha, and A. We'll put B, 
C. If I want to store that, I just press enter and then get out of here. And if I go back, it should be there again. If I turn it off, it should also be in there. The battery does save it. Back in the day, I used that to save stuff as well. Kind of like use it when I go to the supermarket or something to make a list for myself. And kind of like compare that calculator to a smartphone of today. On the right is a smartphone. Left is a scientific calculator. It's not that much I mean, a smartphone is not that much bigger. And it came with this, but then unfortunately, this thing just came off. Like something that enabled you to stick the calculator on there. The adhesive thing kind of like wore out, so that's the thing. And today we have smartphones such as this. We have a calculator function here. We could also use a scientific calculator. There it is, that's a scientific calculator. You could do the same things as you do on something like this. So let's say 12 plus, let's see, parentheses, square root of 81. Parentheses like that. You could do the same thing with a uh, scientific calculator. Obviously, we don't use uh, scientific calculators anymore because we've got the smartphones and stuff like that. It's almost the same size. However, the smartphone does weigh a little bit more, and you got more functionality with the smartphone. It's a camera got all these features and you can, you can connect to the internet. This thing we just used as a calculator. That was just one purpose. To get the battery out, it's quite simple. You just remove these two screws. You get some kind of spudger tool and you kind of like pry out the edges. And you just take out the battery is located around here. You take a small tool and then just push it out that way and then push and put in the new battery this this way that's pretty much it you could reset the calculator if you screwed up something you know set it back to its original factory settings it says this is uh, consumes about point zero zero one watt This is a sharp calculator, scientific calculator. And I'm, I'm surprised that it, it even works even today. I had it for over, let's see how many years, since 1990, 90, 90, so that's about let's see, 32 years, but it, it works, but there are some problems with it. This is the box for it. Still have the original box. I didn't use this thing in college. When I went to college, I used the TI-85 graphing calculator. This has just been sitting in my drawer for the last, last time I used it was, I think it was 1993 after I graduated from high school and I stopped using this. That's retro time for today so if you have any comments you can leave in the comment section below thanks for watching